Hello, you are welcome to solve another maths problem, which is a square which is equal to b plus 13 and b square which is equal to a plus 13. Find the value of a and b, and we have an initial condition a must be different from b. So let's go to the solution. So in the first step, we have to let's assign each equation as equation one and equation two. So a square which is equal to b plus 13 let's say equation 1 and b square which is equal to a plus 13 as equation 2 so in the second step let's take their difference take their difference and a square minus b square which is equal to b plus 13 minus a plus 13 a square minus b square which is equal to b minus a plus 13 minus 13 and it will be a square minus b square which is equal to b minus a plus 0 so finally a square minus b square which is equal to b minus a now let's rearrange this equation as a square minus b square let's bring this term into the left hand side will be minus b plus a which is equal to zero so this can be expressed as a square minus b square plus by using bracket a minus b which is equal to zero so from algebraic expression this term can be expressed in the form that's a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b so substituting this expression to this equation a plus b times a minus b plus a minus b which is equal to zero so as you have seen from this expression we have common term which is a minus b and a minus b so we can factor out these terms that's a minus b into a plus b plus this will be one which is equal to zero so we have two terms so by using zero product identity a minus b which is equal to zero and a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 so this will be rejected because because we have initial condition a must be different from b so a cannot be equal to b so this rejected and the remaining will be a plus b plus 1 which is equal to 0 so from this one a plus b is equal to 1 so let's say this is equation 3 and now let's take their sum take sum of equation 1 and equation 2 so that a square plus b square which is equal to b plus 13 plus a plus 13 so this a square plus b square is equal to a plus b plus theony 6 so but from equation 3 we have a plus b is equal to minus 1 so a square plus b square this will be minus 1 plus 6 and finally a square plus b square is equal to 5.
so let's say this is equation 4 and from equation 1 from from equation 3 we have a plus b is equal to minus 1 so squaring both sides a plus b the whole square which is equal to minus 1 the whole square and this would be a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square is equal to 1 so a square plus b square plus 2 times of a b which is equal to 1 so now we have from equation 4 we have a square plus b square which is equal to 25 so substitute 25 here 25 plus 2 times of a b is equal to 1 so 2 times of a b is equal to 1 minus 25 and 2 times of a b which is equal to minus 24 so this a b is equal to my minus 24 divided by 2 and a b is equal to minus 2 so from a b which is equal to minus 2 we can find b which is equal to minus 2 over a and let's say this will be equation 5 now from from equation from equation 3 and equation 5 we have a plus b which is equal to minus 1 and b which is equal to minus t all over a so let's substitute this b into this equation so a plus minus 12 over a is equal to minus 1 so a minus 12 over a which is equal to minus 1 so let's sum up this one making denominator same so a times a over a minus 12 over a which is equal to minus 1 so a square minus 12 over a which is equal to minus 1 and finally this will be a square minus ql which is equal to minus a so rearranging this equation a square plus a minus 12 which is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation so by using quadratic formula we can solve for a so let's identify the coefficients a is 1 b is 1 and c is minus 2 so we know that's a quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times of a so let's substitute each values into the formula a which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 2 divided by 2 times 1 so simply a which is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 square 1 and minus 4 times minus 2 will be positive 48 so 1 plus positive 48 is at 49 divided by 2 and a will be minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 49 will be 7 divided by 2 so a will be a which is equal to minus 1 plus 7 over 2 and a which is equal to minus 1 minus 7 over 2 so a is equal to 3 and a which is equal to minus so we have a which is equal to 3 and a which is equal to minus 4 
So by using the switch rule from equation 5, b which is equal to minus 12 divided by a. So when a is equal to 3, b will be minus 12 divided by 3, which is equal to minus 4. And when a, which is equal to minus 4, b will be minus 12 divided by minus 4, which is equal to 3. So the final solution for the given problem will be a, b is equal to pair of 3 minus 4 and minus 4. 3 will be the final solution for the given problem. Thanks very much for watching. Have a nice time. Bye-bye.